Howdy folks, and welcome back to Zatsudan, the show that recaps ASW programming for you, because there are just so many cicadas outside. We start with an old standby of the wrestling world, an arm wrestling match. Although CM Punk is defending the open world title in a battle royale, the only confirmed entrant to date is Scott Steiner. Probably the last guy on the roster anybody wants to arm wrestle with. They lock up after an appropriate amount of posturing, and Steiner's clearly got the literal upper hand with ease. It's all Punk can do to stay in the match, and so he kicks the challenger in the head instead. Scott Steiner walks away with a DQ win and a headache. Will Nightingale is trying her hand at an interview segment, and her guest is an indie wrestler she found, the masked Mr. Madness, and his valet, the mysterious Miss Madness. Okay, like, Willow treated them like indie people, but that's, like, clearly Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth, right? I don't know why he did that, but everybody else can see that, right? Right? Anyway, this, uh, apparent newcomer uh, puts over Shawn Michaels for rising to the top like cream and snapping into the YouTube title. Ooh, yeah! Willow lets him ramble for a bit, and then Scott Hall comes out. He claims that Macho Man might be over the loss. Mr. Madness doesn't see what that has to do with him. But the bad guy is not. Liz was all over that match, and HBK won with a dang sleeper hold. Hall wants HBK 101. Well, that sounds like time for your friendly neighborhood owner to step in. So I granted that title shot on two conditions. One, if Hall loses again, he's done challenging Michaels. And two, the match is right now. HBK isn't ready to compete, but hey, neither was Hall. I reckon it works out. Hall cheap shots HBK with the mic right as the champ gets into the ring. Senior official Marty Elias gets out there before too long and breaks up the ensuing brawl. Bell rings. HBK gets the momentum back with a bulldog and a knee drop. Hall swings with a big right and misses as HBK ducks behind, but Hall catches him with a mule kick. Looked a bit low to me. Hall whips HBK into the ropes, but he springboards off with a flying lariat. Big suplex, Michaels is in control once again, following up with a beautiful standing dropkick. HBK tosses Hall into the corner and hits the turnbuckle punch spot. Fans are eating it up, and HBK is tuning up the band. Sweet chin music! One, two, three. Michaels retains. Sort of. Look, I, I just had a thought I needed to share, okay? Hall hit HPK right before the match started with an international object. Really, that match should have probably been thrown out, right? And no match means no loss. And everybody likes these two fighting anyway, right? So, I gave Scott Hall his challenge rights back. Is that a dang crime? Jeez. The Blue Bloods are here! Rigo has brought out his old protégés, Squire Dave Taylor and Earl Robert Eaton. They'll be challenging the New Day, specifically Kofi and Big E. Rigo makes a big show of puffing them up for the match, and then they lose in about three minutes. Oh well. We liked the Triple Threat title match so much last week, we're doing it again this week with Becky Lynch making her first No Boys Allowed title defense against Kid Bandit and previous champ Kyrie Hojo. Becky is able to take them both on to start with, knocking Bandit down and getting a hammerlock on Kyrie. Bandit comes back and kicks them both into the corner, but Becky shrugs it off and retaliates with a back elbow. Becky misses a kick and is a bit off balance. Kyrie takes her down and applies her own take on the disarm her. Bandit's perfectly willing to let the champ struggle, even adding a boot scrape into things. But Becky bites her leg when it gets too close. Kairi has had enough of the silliness and transitions into the Ikari. Becky's got nowhere to go and no way out. Bandit goes up top looking to squish two birds with one aerial, 
Well, Becky finally breaks out of the hold, launching Kyrie into the corner. Bandit gets knocked off the turnbuckle all the way to the outside. Kyrie is able to recover faster than anybody when Becky gets a kick to the face followed by a second rope drop kick. Kyrie tries to pick the champ up for more punishment, but Becky is able to trap her into the disarm her. Kyrie quickly gets to the ropes, and Lynch yeets her across the ring in frustration. Kid Bandit is crawling back into the ring, and Becky gets her with the disarmor instead. Kyrie can't get in there in time to break it up, and Bandit taps. Becky Lynch retains the NBA title and makes sure Kyrie knows it after the match. Slash Gallagher and Larry Sweeney in action next, after I give him a little pep talk. I believe in both of these guys, they just gotta get something going for themselves to climb the ladder. And uh, one of them sure did. Slash just pounces on Sweeney right off the opening bell with a vicious ground and pound. Referee Charles Robinson pulls Slash out of the mount, and Sweeney has no freaking idea where he even is. Slash is awarded the win by stoppage almost before the match began. Maybe not the highest caliber of an opponent, but an impressive performance nonetheless. As Sweeney's rolled to the back, Slash calls for a mic. He must listen to me, because he's calling out unfinished business from Super Survivor Series. He's already beaten Chavo Guerrero in a cage. He wants Eddie in a hardcore match at the pay-per-view. Sweeney is okay, by the way. After the break, he's whining backstage to the medics about wanting an easier opponent he can actually beat. As his example, he chooses... Xavier Woods? There aren't many soft targets around here, I guess, but I'm not sure I like his odds there. I'll give him that match, though. We'll see. Little video package for you, with Mike Tanay talking about CM Punk's go-to-sleep finisher and analyzing its lethality. We even got Kenta to weigh in a bit. And maybe it's almost as good as the original. Armando Alejandro Estrada is at ringside tonight. You ever notice how the only celebrities we ever have at ringside wind up getting involved in some fashion? Eh, don't worry about it. The tag title picture once again takes center stage, with newly inducted main event mafia member The Rock taking on Penta El Cero Miedo under hardcore rules. Rock kicks us off with his little punch sequence that he does, caps it with a power slam. Penta gets right back in the fight with a Samoan spike! And Estrada is pretty excited about that at ringside. He hops in the ring and starts squabbling with the referee Nick Patrick, then gives him a Samoan spike. Shades of Umaga all around. Estrada takes the ref shirt and claims he is the ref now. Yeah sure, that's funny, I'll let that roll. Rock resets the match with a pair of big slams, but goes to the people's elbow too soon and whiffs it. Rock rolls to the outside, but Penta follows, grabs a monitor from the announce table, and clocks him with it. Rock intercepts a second shot and counters with a headbutt. Estrada pressures the two men to return to the ring, but he can't count them out in a hardcore match, so all he really accomplishes is distracting Rock for a second. Penta hits a sucker punch in that second and rolls Rock into the ring. Penta goes for the springboard plancha to the inside, not sure what you'd call that. But Rock is up, catches him, reverses it into a power slam. Goes for the people's elbow again, misses again. Penta takes a moment to stalk his prey, but he should have stayed on him. Rock is up fast, sends them both back outside again with a tackle through the ropes. Rock is up first this time. It's the rock bottom on the outside. One, two, three. Rock gets the big win. He celebrates with Booker T and Scott Steiner as we go off the air. That's it for this week, but there's always more coming up. We have one more show before the pay-per-view, and we're capping it with a triple threat tag match. Tag champs Booker T and Scott Steiner will take on the Lucha Bros, but also added to the mix are the team of CM Punk and... One of the only pe people willing to put up with him, Johnny Chrono. No titles on the line, but a lot of title match momentum to be won. Will Nightingale will face Asuka in a cage. Daniel Bryan gets a crack at Larry Sweeney. And Arn Anderson will open the show against Eddie Guerrero. Also, I will have a major announcement. After that will be the pay-per-view. 
featuring CM Punk defending the open world title against Scott Steiner and eight other folks in a battle royale. Rock will take Steiner's place in the tag title match, teaming up with Booker T to defend against the Lucha Bros. Taz steps into the ring to face Johnny Chrono. Slash Gallagher has challenged Eddie Guerrero to a hardcore match, and we're also getting Woods vs. Sweeney. Maybe some other stuff too, you never know. But for tonight, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.